Hi, welcome to Jones Battle Detain Adventures. Here we are, searching for history. We've got ploughed land all around us, and I'm on pasture at the moment. And the Ford foreground is a 17th century hall. With a bit of luck, we might find something interesting. Please join me to see. <laughs> Ken's come up with some silver. First day for silver, good lad. What is it? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's some sort of jewelry of some kind. But whether it's hammered, I'm not sure it is clean up. But it's definitely, definitely silver, Ken. So Ken's on broken the duck of silver. You're on silver. So I like that, Ken. Yeah. Cracking. Hey. It first. Yeah, you can't thought it was hammered. It's just that same size as hammered. It so hammered's on its way, Ken. Hammered's on its way. Yeah. Just here is the Roman road coming down. All the way down, all the way down there. That's the Roman road. Down there. Oh, found it. That's a fancy button. Ah. Fancy button. Not sure what age that is, but probably 18th century. Oh, it's George III. <laughs> George III, six burns. Oh, excellent. Oh, very good. I just knew it. You can't beat finding silver, brilliant. George, George III, sixpence. Well, I'll have a bit of that, eh? Silver's coming in, silver's coming in. Ta-da! George III, sixpence. Superb. Brilliant. <laughs> some glazed pottery. Have another jar of some kind. Probably Victorian and older. Early 19th, uh, 20th century. Some military button, I think. Clean it up, show you later. Well, I think we've got a bit of uh, medieval pottery here. Medieval pottery. piece of uh, another some sort of uh, medieval uh, spindle wheel which is a different different shape but there's an author all there I think I think there's an author all that spindle wheel of some kind rough one it might be Roman because the Romans did only plain ones try with the big pointer see if we can get it <laughs> Look out! Aha! Uh -huh. It's a it's a watch key winder, and I reckon that'll be Victoria. I've got a funny sneaky suspicion. I think that's a Victoria penny. That yeah, Victoria penny. Check the date later. I can come up with a Roman. It's a, it's a bit grotty, but. Hold it up in your hand, get it in between your fingers. Definitely a big, large Roman coin. So, we're being Romanized. Yeah, that'll do. Definitely Roman. Not clear, but it's bronze Roman coin. Well, we've got it out. It's a 14. Just making sure it is out. So it's got to be in the pile of muck somewhere. 
it's got to be here well we've got it in the muck it's in this muck now see what it is then see what's in that oh it's in this bit here is it hey hey Superb! Real look, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Oh yes, Ahmed! Yeah, look at that, Ahmed! Yeah, brilliant. Yes, don't you love the sight of Ahmed? Ah, brilliant! Been here two days, and this is me, Ahmed. Hey, hey. Don't know what it is, but we're going to investigate. Chuffed or what? Superb! It's a long cross, so it could be. I'll have to, I'll have to check it out. But yeah, I'm suited, suited with Ahmed. Well, that was the end of two days uh, detecting. Uh, we spent about probably something like 15 hours detecting for the weekend, really. Um, we're quite lucky. The farmer let us go on. He seeded it, not barreled perfect condition absolutely perfect conditions um me and i can had a, a great time i had to dodge the rain a little bit but that's okay i'm um, gonna have to come back so if we uh, go over to what i found uh ken this so we're looking at all these different pennies a ring i think that's um probably world war ii or maybe medieval i don't really know i can't really tell uh, that's a, um, I think that's what we call a, a medieval bridle buckle for the horses, bridle buckle. And we've got some spindle whirls. I think that's Roman. Uh, then we've got a uh, watch key winder. I got I found quite a few of these. These are military buttons. And uh, little little buckle probably 20th century early 20th century musket shot got a lot more musket shot I just put a couple there then we got a uh, part of a door handle and I don't know what that is that's a huge piece of lead no idea massive uh, got a spoon here I think this is only plated but it's all fancy design here fancy design is this there look I clean it all up, but I think it's plated. Um, then we start off with a Roman. I've got to check that out, but that's Roman, Denarius. Clean it all up. That's a folded silver coin. I think that's probably William III. Uh, I've got to clean it all up and straighten it, but that's what I think, silver. And then we've got a, a George III. George III sixpence? No, sorry, Victoria, Victoria sixpence. Uh -huh. um, and then we've got a George III, George III bullhead sixpence. He's all cleaning. And of course, the uh, resist the quintessential requirements. Hammered. Don't know who it is, but it'll be on my video, I should imagine. Hammer! Da -da, da -da -da -da. Long, it's a long cross. Long cross hammered. Superbly done. Superb. Now, we've got then some pottery there. Just a bit of pottery, just to give you a bit of flavour. Then we'll go to Ken's. Ken's found a lot more than this, but we just... Uh, nice fancy... I'm not quite sure, but I think that's some sort of... Uh, could be a horse pattern thing. I'm not really sure where that belongs. But it's all fancy... Flowers and everything on there. That's that's interesting. I don't. Yeah, I think it's stamped out, so it's definitely some sort of decoration of some kind, or whether it's a lid of a pot, or I've no idea. But uh, it's fancy. Then he's got all these different coins. Just uh, ordinary George V, George VI. Uh, we probably with with. And then he's got a uh, silver sixpence of uh, George VI. Needs clean up. Uh, a bit of silver there, not really sure what this is. 
Uh, no idea. Try to look for some pattern. He's probably cleaning and flattening. No, isn't it? I thought we're hammered. Ken thought we were hammered. <laughs> I thought we're hammered, but, it, but it's not. And now we've got sort of like military buttons. All the different George III, half pennies, buttons, musket shot, and all different size of coins, really. Okay. Right. So now that's what we found in 15 hours. Now we're going to show you what we've had to dig out in between. Uh, look at this copper buttons I think some buckles amongst that lot somewhere uh, stainless steel wow I mean there's some stuff there that we've dug out me and I can you know more buttons and all sorts of things there wow it's a lot of stuff a lot of things so that's the junk which will get separated into the different buckets and, and going for recycling. Um, yeah, need to come back up again. It's brilliant up, up here. Uh, hope you can join us next time and catch you later.